Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krabzy Crypto, and for today's video I'm kind of doing something different. I'm just kind of doing like a follow along with this video, because right now I'm trying to get Windows operating system to boot on my mining rig, but right now the BIOS and everything is not really detecting any of my hard drives for some reason. I've tried changing some setting around in my BIOS and stuff, but still not picking it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm currently putting Windows OS onto a USB, and then I'm going to do a fresh install and see if I boot from the USB with the fresh install, if it will detect the hard drive and I can just reinstall Windows that way, and hopefully the mining rig will pick it up. Because I don't know why, I don't know if it's something to do with the bio settings or if it's something to do with the motherboard directly, that it cannot like detect a normal hard drive. It detects USBs okay, but the hard drives don't seem to work or anything. They don't get picked up on BIOS and I've been playing around with some settings I've been reading online like how to kind of fix it for different motherboards and stuff. And I can't really find a direct answer for my model of motherboard, the BTC250C I think it is. So I'm just kind of doing my own troubleshooting and I figured just to make a little video out of it. So if anyone else runs into any issues while setting up Windows OS on their mining rig, they can kind of look back at this as like a possible solution for theirs. So like I said, just putting Windows uh, operating system onto a USB here and then we're going to boot it onto there and try to fresh install it and see if it detects any of the hard drives. And we're going to go from there. I just figured to do this quick little video and just kind of go along. So I'll see you guys in the next like part of it for the next update. We're just going to let things finish up with the USB being made on uh, the Rufus application. So once that's made up, then we're going to go ahead and continue with this process. So for now, I'm just going to pause the recording, but we'll pick up on it once it is all done and see where it kind of goes from there. All right, the USB just got done. So I just plugged in the USB in the back side there, the USB port. We're just going to fire it up and see what happens here. You can see if the Windows installation picks up or not. It's going to let it load up and it doesn't seem like it does. So that could just be because I set the wrong setting on Rufus because like the application, there's BIOS or UFEI, I think it is. So either or, or GPD and MBR for the partition types. So I might have to change it to a different one. But yeah, I've went through the settings and it doesn't seem like I can change much more or do too much. I need to find like the hard drive area and see if it's even reading the hard drives and stuff. So I'm gonna look a little bit more into that. And then we'll pick up from there and see what goes on. But yeah, I can't, like as we see here, it's a BTC B250 motherboard. And I've been looking at other videos on YouTube and other people don't have an issue. So I think it's just something that I'm doing wrong on my end of things. Like a simple setting or just something I'm hooking up not correctly apparently. I've set up many computers and have had no issues in the past. I've done mining rigs and stuff, just never on a strictly mother mining, uh, mining motherboard. So maybe that could be something, it's just maybe something that BIOS have to change that I can't figure out. Or it's just not detecting the hard drives, maybe one of my cables is no good or something. There's a lot of little factors that can go into it. But I'm just going to go ahead and do a little bit more diagnosing and try to figure out a little bit more. And see where we're at once I get that done. So I redid up the USB. I used the GPT partition, I believe it was. I'll just double check on that. I can just open up Rufus here and I will check which one it was just to confirm with you guys. Uh, uh, we'll just select this one. Oh, we can't view it because I don't have the USB plugged in. But I believe it was GPT. I The other one didn't work. It was like uh, MBR, I believe, and that's for a little bit older of motherboards, I think it is. And then GPT is for like newer windows and such. So as we see, we got it booted off the USB. I'm just gonna go through and see if it detects the SSD. Next, we'll go install now. Well, it's good that it can detect Windows at least for the setup and installation so we know it's able to. Now we just gotta get a hard drive. I'm just gonna see if it detects the SSD. If not, I'm gonna plug in the uh, 320 gig uh, standard rotation drive here and we'll just skip the product key and we'll go Windows 10 Pro alrighty we'll accept the terms hit next and we're gonna go down to custom 
And yes, it does pick up the SSD, but I do not want to format this SSD just due to it already having like the Windows OS. I use it for like secondary mining rigs, like stuff like that. So we're just going to swap these hard drives around and we'll just reboot this and continue doing that. So we got the 320 gig standard rotation drive firing up here and we're going to see if it detects it and then we'll just go through the same process, wait for it to load up and I'm just going to run it through, but I'm going to pause it this time until we're at that screen where we can install the Windows OS. All right, we got her up to the screen here and it's reading the 320 gig hard drive fine. So what we're going to do is delete both partitions here. I don't need this one. This is just an older hard drive I had laying around. So let that do that, go down and we'll delete this main partition as well and hit OK. And then what we're going to do is just leave it on that unallocated space. So as we see it, oops, I'll just focus it here. So as we see, we just deleted both partitions to clear off the drive. Then all we're going to do is click next. And it should start installing Windows now onto this hard drive and on with all the information with this motherboard. So now it should be good to boot up this hard drive because it's on the right partition to format to that Windows for that hard drive. So I'm just going to pause it and let it install Windows here. And then we'll get back to it and see where we're at once we're all booted up and ready to go. So I got through the initial setup and install here. Now it's just going through the normal, like after reboots, after installing from USB. It's just getting all the devices ready, detecting everything, getting all the information it needs to actually boot and finish up its process. So once this is done, it should actually boot into Windows if everything was successful. And if everything is successful from this point forward. Because I have multiple GPUs, I'm not sure how that's going to work with Windows. If it's just going to install everything and detect all of them just because it's all through risers and such. So it should be okay. But we're just going to let it finish getting ready here. And it should fire up and we should be good to go. So it went through its final setup process and it went through some updates, got a few things done. I set up my like uh, Microsoft account. I didn't link an actual account, I just went offline with it. But yeah, now it's just going through the final setup for its first boot here. As you see, it's just setting up all the apps and everything. So this is the final step before we're on the desktop for the first time with the Windows uh, 10 on a mining motherboard. So I'm pretty excited because you might be wondering like why I'm transitioning to this. And I've just honestly, I've used Windows for most of my time mining over the years. So I just feel more comfortable with Windows and allows me to use a little more customization and allows me to see a little more information compared to like minor stat OS or Hive OS. And I found without a hard drive, they're kind of unstable. I haven't really set up like a hard drive version of Hive OS or minor stat OS. I just have found that like when it goes to configurations and seeing a little more in depth, Windows I find is a little bit better in my aspect, in my personal use. Windows 2 just has like the all-in-one apps that make it easy for most miners. So when it comes to making videos, a lot of people are using Windows over like Hive OS and things like that when they come across my channel perhaps. So it's just easier to do tutorials for this purpose. So I figured just to switch back to the Windows 10 like I've had in many of my videos and such. So that way I can just do the tutorial right on the mining rig itself and fire things up and show you guys a little more in depth and step by step other than using Miner Stat OS, which I know a lot of people don't use to begin with. So I just figured to make the switch just to help improve like tutorials and videos of the sort, as well as just for my own comfort and sake. But yeah, we're just going to let it finish up here, and then once we're on a desktop, I will continue recording so we can finish up and just see what we're going to like work with. I'm not going to go too far after like I get it on the desktop. I'm just going to let it run some updates, pick up the graphics drivers, show you guys all that. And then I'm just going to be setting up MSI Afterburner, nice hash, the usual thing. We're fully on Windows 10. It is an older version, so we will have to uh, update it, obviously. So we'll just let it fire up here, make sure it's all good to go. And then we're going to go to the Windows updates and see if it pulls all the drivers and everything. And it might be a bit a long section of updates because this is an older build of Windows 10. So it has to go through all the recent builds and everything. So it's going to be a longer process, but... I'm just going to go and do all that and I'm just going to continue after all the updates and stuff is put on here so we can have a final look at it so we can just go over everything just as a summary and overall feeling of it.
So we've got the latest Windows update and everything is up and running on the Windows operating system side of things. We're just getting Ninite here and that's just installing like Chrome and all the essentials you need just to kind of run your basic system. Just so you can run applications and such. And just for everything to get a little bit more updated. But yeah, all the Windows, all the main Windows updates are done. It's up and running. My graphics card installed their drivers. It's all reading. So it's all pretty well ready to go. I'm just finishing kind of small details, just nitpicking right now. And once I'm done that, I'm going to download and install NiceHash. And then I'll get that up and running just to show you guys. And with this, with Windows also, I have a little more freedom. I feel it's a little more easier with the freedom. Like on Hive OS and Minerstat, you kind of have to know a lot more of the config data. With like Windows, you can download the NiceHash miner and just select algorithms and such to mine. So that way it's a little bit easier and a little bit more organized. For your average everyday miner and miner stat and things like that might be good if you have a really big operating like a really big facility operating and things like that but for just at home i find nice hash miner does work and you can get paid rate in bitcoin and it chooses the most profitable thing for you so for now i'm just gonna let this finish up and then we'll get nice hash installed and running and i'll show you guys just this running and mining on windows and then we should be good to go after that. Alrighty, we are pretty well up and running with NiceHash. We just got software. We're just doing some benchmarks here. Just trying to focus in, there we go. My two 1060s and my 1650, and then my CPU, but we're just doing the GPUs, of course. And so far I have one more card on the way currently being shipped. It's an AMD, I believe, RX 574 gigabyte. So nothing crazy, but I got it at a really cheap price, so I couldn't turn it down. And I might have another AMD RX 474 gigabyte coming that I might be getting at a really good price. So just more cards to expand my mining rig here. Maybe shift direction to a 4 gigabyte rig, or run, you know, all three 4 gigabytes plus the two 3 gigabyte cards. I don't know. I'll figure it all out once I do get all of them here. But as we see, things are up and running, and everything is just benchmarking. So that's a positive sign. I'm just going to let it do its benchmarks and then get into mining. I'm most likely going to be mining either Zell hash, Z hash, or K heavy hash. So it just depends which one's going to be more profitable. And that's just going to turn over to some Bitcoin. As I've mentioned in other videos about nice hash, everything you mine on here gets turned over into Bitcoin. So that's a good thing. But as we see, it's all set up and we're all pretty well going. I list all my devices, my temperatures, everything. I got MSI Afterburner running in the corner here. Has all my cards listed. So everything is all set up and going and seems like it should be good, the whole process. I just gotta allow access here for the miners. But yeah, overall, hopefully everything stays stable, nothing overheats, you know, nothing gets too out of hand with it being a lower end motherboard on Windows 10. But hopefully everything stays afloat. I'm just going to keep it benchmarking and doing its own thing, but for now I'm just going to end the video. I just wanted to leave it at that to show you guys how to get this up and running on Windows OS. And just for myself and the channel's sake, just for tutorial's sake, you know, just for the whole roundabout. It. But yeah, that's all I really got for you guys today. If you did enjoy this video or this type of video and you want to see more of this content, make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button as it lets me know you are enjoying this content. But I hope you all have an amazing day, and this is Krebsy Crypto. Signing out.